Here we're going to look at an example where we have fractions raised to different powers um, that are multiplied together. So uh, in a situation like this, I think what's most helpful is to remember uh, the meaning of what it means to take negative 8 ninths raised to the third power and to write out that meaning. And so we understand that we're going to be taking negative 8 ninths times itself and then times itself again. That's what negative 8 ninths to the third means. And then we'll also multiply by 15 sixteenths times itself. So we write uh, this expression as a product of five factors. And then remember, when we multiply fractions, we really want to pre-reduce. Now, when you're just multiplying two fractions together, uh, you know, you might be able to get away with uh, not doing that. But in this type of problem, please pre-reduce. Otherwise, you're going to get monstrous numbers on top and on bottom. And trying to simplify that resulting fraction is going to be really, really hard. So we'll look for things on top and things on bottom that have common factors. So, for example, I know that I can divide 8 by 8 to get 1, and that's okay because 8 also goes into 16. So 16 divided by 8 is 2. This 8 divided by 8 is 1. This 16 divided by 8 is 2. Okay, um, let's see, let's look at these 9s and 15s. Well, uh, both 9 and 15 share a common factor of 3, so I can take 9 divided by 3 is 3, 15 divided by 3 is 5. 9 divided by 3 is 3, 15 divided by 3 is 5. Now you might already be identifying some more that can be done here, um, but as we start to cross more and more things out, um, the uh, the work becomes more and more cluttered, so it's never a bad idea after you've had uh, several things cancel out to just rewrite everything. Don't have to do this, but I think it helps keep things organized. And don't forget about your negatives that are coming along for the ride. Okay, so what we have at this point is this. Now, this 8 um, has factors of 2 in it. So I suppose what I could do is I could say, all right, 8 divided by 8 is, I'm sorry, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then I can do the same thing with the 4 on top and the 2 on bottom. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now we look at the rest of this, um, doesn't look like anything else is going to cancel. So, um, so we've completely pre-reduced, and the nice thing is, since I can see that nothing on top and nothing on bottom share common factors other than one, I know that once I'm done multiplying, I will have a reduced fraction answer. So before we do any multiplying, let's just note we have one, we have one, two, three negatives. And so that tells us that our answer will be negative. So all I need to do is multiply all the top. So 1 times 1 times 2 times 5 is 10 times 5 is 50. So we have negative 50 over and then we have 3 times 3 is 9 times 9 is 81 and then we're just multiplying by 1. So this is an 81 on bottom. So the answer is negative 50 over 81.